Hey guys, RubriksCuber88 here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I solved the 3x3 with some 3x3 walkthrough solves. Okay guys, so the cube that I'm using is my main, the Vault 3M. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's still a very, very good cube as my main. Um, I do average around 28-ish seconds, and I only do white cross. And I don't know full OLL and PLL, so, and I'm pretty bad at the F2L. I don't really practice that much, so just bear with me if you have any tips on how I could have solved any of these a lot better. Um, just let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm not going to be doing scrambles. I'm just going to be doing um, just some random hand scrambles, like just for the sake of time. So um, let's get into the walkthrough solves. So we're just going to do just a, a random hand scramble here, just basic. Okay, so here I see, for the white cross, um, I see that this is paired up like, so I see that this is paired up with its opposite, and this is not. And I see that this here is already solved. So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to solve this piece by doing a D2. So it'll solve this. And then I'm just going to do an R prime. And these two pieces here are solved. So solved and solved. But then I see that this is with its opposite. And this is 2. So what I'm going to do here with these two, I'm going to make these two here become with their opposite. So I'm going to be doing a D2. So these two are paired up with their opposites, and then I'm going to do an F, and then we turn, and then we just have to, to flip that piece, an F2, and now all we have to do, the cross is complete, all we have to do is a D2, and that is our cross. Like I said, I'm not very good at 3x3 three three solving. Now on to F2L. So the first pair I see is these two right here. I'm going to match them up, bring them out. And then just rotate, and they're already paired up, and then just insert in this slot, just like that, for the first F2L pair. For the next pair, I see these two, so how I'm going to solve this is I'm going to do RUR prime to bring this white piece up, and then I'm just going to do just a basic F2L move. When its piece is on top, when the when it, its corresponding white corner piece is on top, I'm going to match it up with this color here, and then just bring, um, move this layer away from the top color, away, and then pair it, just bring it over, and then bring it back down, and then that pairs it, and then just insert it for our second F2L pair. For the third F2L pair, I see these two here, so I'm going to bring this over, do F, R prime, F prime, R, to solve the edge, so just a bit of keyhole, and then, so we're going to solve the edge, and then I'm going to, um, this is the algorithm to solve it when you have your edge solved, but not your corner. So, you basically just need to bring the corner down to here. You do this. And that's how you solve it. And now, for the last pair, it's already solved, so I just, so I, I just have to rotate. And insert. And that is our F2L. For the OLL, I do know this case. I just do a U2 and then the OLL. And then for the PLL, I don't know this PLL case. So I'm just going to do um, two-step uh, two PLL or whatever you call it. You just hold it. R prime F R prime B two R F prime R prime B two R two, and I still don't know the case, so I have to do it again with the headlights in the back. R prime F R prime B two R F prime R prime B two R two. So whenever I don't know the PLL case, I just do that alg until I get this. So we're set up to do a just a basic U perm. And that solves the cube. Alright, so now to the second walkthrough solve.
Okay, so for the white cross, I see this is solved, and that is an easy move away, but I see that this is with its opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this blue, I'm going to bring over the blue to solve it, and then I'm going to bring this down to solve it, and then I'm going to do a D2 to bring it them to its, to its opposites. So we have one, two, three solves all on their opposites, and then we just have to take this out, and then just bring it to it, its opposite, do an R2, and then all we have to do is a D2, and it's solved. For the F2L, I see these two first, so I take the edge out, and then I, and then I know that it's the two colors on top are the same, so you hide the corner piece to pair it with the edge, just like that. And then here is a quick and easy insert. So here you have the pair, and then here you have where it needs to go. So here, all you have to do when you're in this situation, you don't have to rotate and then insert. All you have to do is F, R prime, F prime, R. And that solves the pair. Okay, so for the second pair I see these two next so I'm going to bring out the corner and then I'm just going to do the same thing as the last saw you have to match up its corresponding corner piece with its center color and then the, bring the top color away so these two are red so you need to bring it away from the red pair up the corner with the edge back here then you to bring it back down and then here I'm just going to do a sledgehammer to insert this and that solves that pair. Also, if you guys w want me to do a tutorial on how to solve the 3x3 using the F2L method, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so for our third F2L pair, I am just going to do this. I'm just going to solve the edge here. And then it's corner. It's kind of a weird solve, but it's corners down here. And then I just use the same move to bring this corner down here. That solves it. And now for the last pair I see, just move this top color away. Just like that, paired up. Insert. Quick and easy. The OLL, I'm not sure of this. So if there's an so if it's an L case, I hold the L in the bottom right and then I do lowercase f sexy move, lowercase f prime, in that case I knew it. And now for the PLL, I know it. It's just a U perm. And that is it for the second walkthrough solve. Okay, so now to the final walkthrough solve, which is a random hand scramble. Okay, so for the white cross. I see that I can solve this piece by just moving it, just like that. And but I can do a D2. So these two are with their opposites. And then I'll I'll have to flip this. And then do an F2. And then that. So now all we have to do is a D2 to align the cross, and that is our cross. The first F2L pair, I see the this edge is in the right spot. I just need to flip it, just like that. And then I need to find the corner that needs to go here, which is right here. Bring it out, and then just bring it above. And then for this, when you have the edge solved and the, and the corner and the white piece on top above it, all you have to do is three sexy moves. And when a sexy move is, is R, U, R prime, U prime. So you have to do three of those. And that solves the pair. Next pair I see is these two. So I'm going to bring up the corner again. And then I'm just going to match it up with its color. And then turn it away from like where it is. So away. And then bring the uh, corner over to the edge back here. To pair it up. It's paired up. And then just insert it in. So for the next pair. I see these two will be the easiest next. So I just have to align it up. Bring it away from its piece. And then just bring it in from the back. And that solves it. Now for the last piece, I see that these two are switched. So I'm just going to do 
that and then we're going to just do the same case where your corner the white is facing you and that solves the F2L for the OLL I actually do not know this actually maybe I do yeah I don't know it. and then anti soon just to finish off the OLL and now for PLL we have an A perm and that solves the cube. Hopefully that you guys have learned something new about how I solve the 3x3. Three three. I use uh, the F2L method, but in a very slow way. So thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.